All right, the next song that is number one right now on the Reddit poll is My Heart Is Refusing Me by Loreen. I haven't heard the song yet, or I think I didn't. I know a few songs from Loreen outside Eurovision, but this title does not really sound familiar. Maybe once the song starts, I will know if I know it. As you guys also probably know, Loreen is my favorite winner from Eurovision all time. Not my favorite song, not my favorite artist, but my favorite winner. Let's see what she has outside the contest. This is My Heart Is Refusing Me by Loreen. And it starts kind of gray and cold and sad. Well, I mean, the title kind of suggests that. Oh, I thought that was Lorene. Oh, maybe it is Lorene, like when she was kid. When she was kid, when she was a kid. This is deep. This is beautiful. How have I never heard this? Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, this is going on my playlist for sure. She still has the euphoria moves. I kind of want to sing along, but I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Plus, I don't know the text. I just, I would just la 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 it. This part is so great. This is honestly great. Like, I both want to listen to it and dance. We have a little bit of Madonna video stuff. different moods this song like it goes through like levels and stuff I like it and now we are back in like semi clubbing I kind of miss the story of the video though I mean who cares about the video the song is great I mean, that's not what she said, but... Okay, dramatic stuff are happening in the video, but I've missed, I do not understand what's going on. Oh, it's not the end. Okay, maybe this will explain what's happening. Everything is a little bit spooky. It looks like a scene from Saw. 
or don't smoke, kids don't smoke. Is she a smoker? Why are you a smoker? Okay, this did not explain anything. Okay, there, that was the end of it. I, I did not understand the story of the song. I've missed something. You guys can tell me in the comments. Also, remember, this is literally the first time I watched slash listened to it. So maybe there is something happening that you only get it like from the second, third, fourth time. Or if you do not speak while you're watching this stuff and you're just focusing on the song, which actually might be a good idea. What do you think? Should I just be like watching the first time and just have like a voiceover just to tell you my thoughts but while I'm actually watching to just watch? That, that could be an interesting idea. Maybe I will experiment with that. But yeah, this song was extremely good. It was all dancey but deep with like texts and stuff. I loved it. Was it Euphoria level? Very probably. I'm pretty sure that if I would listen to this live or if we would have like the Eurovision stage to listen to the song, I think that she can bring it up to the level of Euphoria. And again, the sound of it all, it was just so extremely Swedish. And now if this is not a Swedish production, then my, my mistake, but it feels like so extremely Swedish. Anyways, Let's move on to the next song from the next Eurovision artist, a song that did not participate in Eurovision.